welcome Africa and the world. My name is Akoswa Prempe, broadcasting from the United States of Africa. Today, we take you to Burkina Faso, where the 20th edition of Digital Week has just concluded with a powerful celebration of innovation, artificial intelligence, and regional cooperation. This closing ceremony highlighted new technological achievements, cross-border agreements, and the growing digital strength of the Sahel nations. From startup breakthroughs, AI-focused innovation, transformative health technology, and regional digital cooperation, this event showcases the remarkable talent and resilience of the Burkinabe people and the commitment of the AES nations to building a sovereign and technologically advanced Africa. Before we bring you the full video, please take a moment to support our mission. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment, and share it with others. Together, we connect Africans everywhere and strengthen the vision of unity across our continent. In the competitions that were specifically organized for four-year-old children, we had a total of three different categories. And in each of these categories, there was both a first-place winner and a second-place winner. Each of the first-place winners receives a prize of one million francs, while each of the second-place winners is awarded 500,000 francs. This structure ensures that all top participants are recognized and rewarded for their achievements. And we're going to get them. And his company completed the solutions they proposed during those three days. For the startups, we had 47 applications. We obtained 12, which, along with non-specialized digital startups, enlivened the startup village all week. So to encourage AI startups, each of them has a budget of 2 million CFA francs. Hello, let's say, to develop one's project. And among these startups, there were also some favorites of His Excellency the Prime Minister. It is an application for translating your languages into French, for speech synthesis and transcription, which should help to democratize information. So this startup will also have 2 million French and female users. The second favorite is that of the president of the Transitional Legislative Assembly. It is a chronic disease monitoring platform that integrates a chatbot to help our patients take care of themselves. This startup will also receive 2 million CFA francs. And finally, the favorite of His Excellency, the president of FASO, is FASOMAT. As you know, the president made it a point of honor to ensure that we have talent in the field of science. So that's why this startup was chosen, because the goal is to make learning mathematics more accessible, easier for our young people to demystify science. And this startup will therefore also have three million francs and coins. So very quickly now for the honor legs, First, the leg of honor. To His Excellency the Prime Minister, it is for his commitment to the adoption of artificial intelligence in all economic sectors. Despite the challenges, despite the threats, he said we must go for it. It is imperative, and I thank the President because we also reminded him of this during the opening ceremony. So thank you to His Excellency for his guidance. To the Minister of Health, my dear neighbor in peace, this is for his initiative to set up a health intelligence center and also its ongoing commitment to thoroughly and efficiently digitizing all patient records as quickly as possible in order to feed and support this advanced health intelligence center. And the gamber for the militia in Jawahara, which remains a significant factor in the overall process, should also be considered. It was really under his leadership that the SNI, in its time, took on a new dimension to become a digital week and really give a boost to this national event. And Mr. Amade Widrawo is one of the pillars of the organization of this event because he was the permanent secretary for many years of the permanent secretariat, which is in charge of this organization. And finally, Professor Zumure, many know him. He is truly one of those who have trained generations, several generations of computer scientists. It is important to recognize that. Thank you.
Tonight we celebrate excellence. The awards that have just been presented demonstrate the vitality and creativity of our digital ecosystem. I extend my warmest congratulations to all the Leoreals distinguished this evening, to our young geniuses of the RoboKids competition, to the cybersecurity experts who distinguished themselves during the third edition of the Ethical Hacking Competition, to the innovators of the AI Hackathon and of Stator D, as well as to the actors of the public and private administration awarded for their digital services or the beauty of their stands. In celebrating you tonight, we are celebrating the genius of Bokinabi. You are the faces of this resilience and creativity that the project to accelerate digital transformation in Burkina Faso will support and amplify to make our country a regional technological hub. You are proof that Burkina Faso has the talent needed to meet the challenges of tomorrow, or rather, of today. To the exhibitors of City Co from the public, private, and civil society sectors, thank you for showcasing our expertise. I would like to take this moment to reiterate the gratitude of the Burkinabe government and people to the invited countries, Ghana, Mali, and Niger. Your presence alongside us has strengthened our collaboration and our commitment to unite to advance the agenda of digital development and artificial intelligence in our region for the benefit of our people. Your Excellency, Mr. Prime Minister, under your guidance to make our collaborations concrete through visible and impactful actions, I have the immense pleasure of announcing the signing of the Freiromi Agreement between Burkina Faso and Ghana intended to facilitate communications <laughs> to the great happiness of our populations. We have also signed within the AES and between Burkina Faso and Ghana agreements on border frequency management to improve the quality and stability of communication services at the borders. I take this opportunity to congratulate the regulatory authorities of the various countries who work to make the signing of these agreements this afternoon possible. Your Excellency, Mr. Prime Minister, ladies and gentlemen, allow me, before I conclude my remarks, to reiterate to the President and to you the profound gratitude of the entire digital ecosystem of Burkina Faso, of the AES, of the AESG, and of Africa for your leadership and your bold and courageous vision for the true sovereignty of our states. Your Excellency, as the lights of this 20th edition are about to go out, the spirit of innovation must continue to shine. I urge us to build on the achievements of this week to create a Burkina Faso, a space for the Sahel states and indeed for the entire African sub-region of peaceful, prosperous and modern nations. As we look forward to seeing you next year for the 21st edition, I declare on behalf of their excellencies, the president of FASO and the head of government, the 20th edition of the Digital Week closed. Long live Digital Week, long live artificial intelligence in the service of sustainable and inclusive socio-economic development for the AESG. Long live digital sovereignty. May God bless our homeland. The fatherland or death we shall overcome. Thank you. So, a special round of applause, please, for the Minister of Digital Transition, Posts, and Electronic Communications. Congratulations on meeting this challenge. Your voice matters in shaping Africa's digital future. I want to hear your thoughts on what you've just watched. Questions for viewers to leave in the comments. One, do you believe Africa is ready to lead its own digital and AI revolution, independent and sovereign? Why or why not? Two, which initiative from the Digital Week impressed you the most and how do you think it can impact our continent's future?